Well, traffic on southbound Interstate 85 is still moving slowly after a fiery and deadly crash early this morning. This is a live look at that stretch of highway in Anderson County. Two of the three lanes are now open near mile marker 27. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli was there as crews worked to clear the wreckage. Yeah, Interstate 85 still slow going hours after a fiery crash. South Carolina Highway Patrol telling us they're still cleaning up. This happened at about 3 this morning. Two tractor trailers involved. Let's take you back to the scene. This video is going to be a little dark. It is from a viewer. He was a driver in a van just a few cars back from this fiery crash on Interstate 85. Involved two tractor trailers, Highway Patrol says. One of them parked on the side of the interstate, the other running into the that parked semi. One man we spoke with, a security guard in a building right next to that interstate, says he was on patrol on the third floor of the building when he saw this fiery crash. Flames four stories high. He says he quickly ran out of the building, jumped a fence, ran over to try to help the man. He says eventually died, tied a t-shirt around him to try to get him to hang on and did whatever he could to put out the flames. Let's take a listen. I tried to put out as much as I could wrapped a t-shirt around the gentleman that was in the truck, pulled him out as far as I could, 20 or 30 feet. He was still moving, but wasn't responsive. And that's really about the end of it. You know, it was just tragic. Again, hours later, crews still hauling away debris, housewares, it looked like, that was in one of the tractor trailers, the other reduced to just pieces and ashes after they got that fire put out. South Carolina Highway Patrol still investigating this crash. We're in Anderson County. Christine Scarpelli, 7 News.